Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Hold up. <laughs> oh, a personal invite. Wow, this game was so finger looking good, we're back for seconds. And I'm playing I Love You Colonel Sanders because I'm here to finish the bite. My strategy is that I'm not gonna mess up. I don't really like the Colonel, but he is a challenge, and I do like challenges. I'm here to win some hearts and eat some biscuits. You lie in bed and stare at the ceiling thinking about the secret you discovered while tasting Colonel's cooking yesterday. You can't believe he really used blank. I can believe it. And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's because he trusts us. He loves us. This is good. It's probably just because he trusts you so much. Boom, me and game, same page. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the spork monster, she launches into a story of her own. I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um, I think I might like Clank. Whoa, that's a swerve. But also, I ship it. I think I might like Pop. Boom. Now I can focus on my own stuff. I know. It sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I just, I like him. We got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Wow, I feel like I've said that phrase. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of story about Colonel Sanders. Spill girl! Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in high school? I mean, we could expect that. Maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. <laughs> you and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, you're a thing now? Wow, Miriam. Wave to have a vote of confidence. Look at her face. She looks super unimpressed and unsupportive. I was a supportive friend. When she told me about Clank, I was like, go, good for you, girl. You go get it. Ah ha ha, sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you? I guess. I guess? Miriam and I are going to have some beef if this continues. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? My bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? We are not telling Miriam our secret ingredient. Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a, a dramatic echo in here? Okay, sassy. Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. This summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in a botanical garden where I was wandering. He told me all about his passion for spices, secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. So I filled my suitcase with him and I brought him home. He was so nice to me. He even met me at the gate when I arrived. Later when I cooked with him, a very strange feeling came over to me. Yeah, you were high. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. That's right, Kelsey. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt I'd be much use to anyone. Please, 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 it would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or Colonel Sanders. What do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders' secret or share it with your bestie? I'm gonna protect it, but not to protect Colonel Sanders, to protect it from me. I mean, I can't have my bestie opening up a business like mine when I have the whole recipe. You know what? I don't need to prove anything to anyone. If our love is real, our love is real. Make up a fake ingredient. My bestie, yeah, cry me a river. Make up a fake ingredient. I have nude? Wow! I feel like I'm slowly <laughs> turning into a bad friend. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Miriam went around and just is texting all like crazy. Before I can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, I'm interrupted. I hate being interrupted. Cherry blossoms, bay is near. He rode in a I'm into it. The horse looks a little small. He's very large too, but horses are also large. It's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Stand back and admire his majestic glory or run to him. I'm gonna blow the spot up, you know? I'm gonna just be like, all right, do your thing. I'm gonna stand back and admire his majestic glory. Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. Without ever acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the countryside. Part of me wants to play it cool, but part of me wants to run to him and his horse. You decide the best way to show Miriam how serious you and the Colonel Sanders are to run to him. I'm not doing this for her. I'm doing this for me, game. Oh, Colonel, my Colonel. Ooh, a little far, a little far. No, 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 no. And I got hit in the face by a horse. What? In the darkness, you see a vision. I was knocked out. Ooh, Kelsey, I am here to deliver you a message. I have been trapped in a realm beyond. I literally don't care about this character. There's a prophecy and we can save him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a horse of a butte you have. I mean, what a ho horse of a butte you have. <laughs> that was a real genuine laugh this game just gave me. Oh, if he just gets really nervous around people they like. <laughs> Miriam, what? This is not helping. Before I can continue, you're suddenly awake. Oh, jeez. 
You awake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices, or is that just his natural scented musk? Compliment the craftsmanship of his shoes. Lean in for a kiss. Nah, nah, girl. We're gonna compliment the horseshoes. We don't wanna be eager beavers. Clearly, we get kicked in the face when we do. Maybe you shouldn't be riding a horse to school, and maybe you shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. All right, game, I get it. That horse has beautiful shoes. I can really feel how smooth and sturdy they were when they were pressing into my face. That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. Colonel Sanders loves my compliment. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you can see your two rivals, Ashley and Van Van. Who are doing something bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be really bad. Like counterfeiting recipes bad. I think counterfeiting recipes, is that a thing? Experimenting with restricted ingredients bad. Summoning a demon bad? Look, this will take a turn and then it'll turn into Devil Man Crybaby, which for my dark kids. Devil Man Crybaby, great short anime, only one season. Wouldn't recommend it for children, but if you know, you just want a little sadness in your life, bust through that. You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder, but he sees you coming, oh no! Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Why don't you make like a bee and mind your own wax, honey? Ashley, get off my back. I'm gonna act like I'm not interested in them, but really try to get a closer look. Tell them to stop acting immature, act like you're not interested in them, but really try and get a closer look. No, I don't even care. Oh, y'all doing something? No, I couldn't tell, cause I'm just over here. I'm gonna tell them off. You immediately dress the rivals down for their immature behavior. Pshaw. <laughs> Culinary school is to be respected. This kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time. You sit near the rivals, but leave your back turned to them. You can even hear Van Van mutter something that sounds a bit like a magic spell. However, he notices you eavesdropping. You try to cover your tracks and improve an excuse. <laughs> Um, it's time for class. You're distracting the rest of us who want to learn. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> but what you doing over there? Now you've upset them. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules. Yeah, I do. I'm the emperor of cooking. Didn't you know? Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. To use a little evil. I like that uh, Van Van went super saying. His hair is up. I'm standing. You know, you got JoJo and DBZ all in one. You finally get a good look at what they're doing. It's a book. Just like the one you found after the encounter with the Spork Monster. Did they summon Spork Monster? Are they behind? it all? That's the same book that I found last night in the quad. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his desk. Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. Almost time for class. Beep beep, says Clank. Love Clank. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. Nice. Hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. You watch how you talk to him. Womp womp, Clank looks ready to throw hands. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. Ooh. Oh, full screen Ashley, hold up. <laughs> you know, she even has like a tiny little sharingan. Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crave men are about to come to blows. I think it must be over me, but I'm not interested in either of them. Typical Ashley trying to make this about her. But Colonel Sanders says, gentlemen, get a hold of yourself. Save it for the arena at least, or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. Just then Sprinkles, thank goodness Sprinkles, our dog teacher has arrived. I apologize for my late arrival. Last time we were here, he snatched friggin' student for being late. Nothing worse than hypocrisy. Without further ado, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. Good, both me and my character are on the same page. We don't really want to care about class. We just want to daydream about Colonel Sanders. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. <laughs> Whoa. Which item do you want to sample? Is it a glass of water, a shimmering pepper, or a dog biscuit? Everyone knows in anime when something's shimmering, that's the item. A shimmering pepper doesn't really scream KFC to me, but this feels like the more obvious answer. The pepper has triggered an intense spice hallucination. It feels like forever. You trip through the universe. <laughs> My friend, oh. We were never friends. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. I was just saying fulfill your destiny. All you have to do is, <clears throat> sorry, I think I got some spice stuck in my throat. I'm regaining consciousness. <laughs> the pepper was the last of its kind on earth. Now it's gone forever. Why did you put it on the freaking platter? That's on you, dude. Come on, it's time for lunch. Well, what was the correct answer? I'm not gonna eat a dog biscuit. Was it water? Today's lunch will be prepared via timed competitive cook-off. The level of theatrics with these two is off the charts. Think back to my grandmother as she gets crushed by that giant kaiju foot. Make the best mashed potatoes plus ultra. I must do it not only to win Colonel Sanders' heart to break it and steal the recipe, not only to win Ashley's heart, but to also 
avenge my grandmother. So I step up and tell them you're on. I'll be watching your performance. Thanks, Colonel, and your meaty, meaty arms. I want to be just the worst person at the, the school. Please stop wasting everyone's time. Is everything a competition with you two? Yes! I need to eat if I'm going to have the energy to sustain my education and pursue my dreams of being a master chef. How are any of us supposed to get anywhere if we're constantly fending off challenges from every know-it-all with an apron? You're not in competition with other people. You are in competition to be your best self every single day. Miriam reaches out and presents a gift to you. My special grilled cheese and tomato soup with chocolate milk to wash it down. And a tartlet for a dessert. I don't know what a tartlet is, but most of that seems vegetarian. Uh, it only takes about five seconds to eat Miriam's tiny food, but it's just what you need for motivation. <laughs> now, now, students, please settle down. This is a lunchroom, not a sporting court. At least not until we turn on the timer! Timer, ready. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick Grammarly. Oh, no. Uh, what temperature does water boil at? Ooh, 100 degrees Celsius. Ooh, I don't even know anything about Celsius. Uh, what state of the mind offers the most flavor? Uh, it's probably gratitude. That's right. You must never take this opportunity for granted and if, if you hope to succeed. What is the sound of success? Sizzling. What? Don't make me get the spray bottle. I think silence, but I don't think that's what they want. That's right. When you taste your cooking, they will be so taken with it that they will be unable to speak. I guess next question. You notice the Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, Kelsey. That's all I needed. Colonel Sanders is such a freaking tuxedo mask. I'm doing all the work. He's just <laughs> providing motivation. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders on the horse, specifically. Colonel, okay. How many spoonfuls of gravy will take to... Ah! What was I that? What do you mean? I couldn't even read the question, game. What a hunk, I can't stop thinking about him. Oh, uh, walking alone on the beach. What does that have to do with crash and chicken? We're, we're spiraling, it's getting out of control. To make up time, you toss the biscuit dough right into your sand mixer as you do the crowd gasp. There's an easy way and a hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. Oh my gosh, my hand gets stuck and it's immediately crushed by the quickly spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Everyone, stop doing what you're doing right now. The battle is over and I goofed it. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply cannot go on. Ashley's completed her dish. No, no, it wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Kelsey's injury. Thank goodness. But I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skipped straight to the dessert. Wow. I was going to ask Kelsey to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Colonel Sanders, would you mind to let... Oh my gosh! Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on the top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ingredients hidden within. Inside, you find a delicate fried cheese croquette atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and pearls of blueberry gelée. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed. I love that Colonel Sanders is only impressed by a very simple home cooking and not at all impressed by what is actually a pretty cool feat. <laughs> Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? Whoa, bird. As he places the sauce-covered finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. I'm gonna internalize the rage. No, I'm gonna internalize that rage. The rage burns so intently in your eyes that they burst into flames. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire. What? And turn to ash and they fall off of your face, which means people will have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. If a guy needs me to physically remove another girl from a situation to be interested in me, that guy ain't for me. I gotta put myself in between them. No way. You reach out with your apron and wipe off, wipe off the sauce of his glistening face. Colonel Sanders recoils and brushes you back. Oh no. This goatee isn't just a fashion statement, it's also functional. I was saving that flavor for later. I freaking lost. <laughs> I don't know what this game wants to me. I clearly don't. Embarrassed and ashamed by my poor performance, not to mention my crispy fried brow, I run for the quad to be alone. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love, decide to get married. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together, which is true now, cool flex, but it hasn't always been. I resolved in that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure. It's honest. It's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I will create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening shadowy presence. Oh no, it's the spork monster. It is I. I know I have said I wouldn't be back. And after the whole fight to the death thing, maybe you don't really want to see me anymore. But I just want to say that I was wrong to attack you. 
and I apologize. I know what it's like always having to look over your shoulder. I don't know where this voice came from, but I'm really excited about it, so we're gonna keep doing this. <laughs> Monster problems, am I right? I know you're strong, and cookie school can put a person under a lot of stress. I actually used to go to the school. I wasn't always a sport monster, you see. I don't believe it. You were a human once? Well, no. I was a golden retriever, but I was still a student. Until one day, some mean kids with a magic spell book cast a dark enchantment on me, and I was forever transformed. A magic spell book. Precisely. I had received a copy for myself, but somewhere along the way, I lost it. If you should find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. You're a powerful chef and shouldn't rely on such dark and evil magic. It sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Matt, together I am sure we can defeat them. Come back to my hideaway and we can discuss. Oh, a personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must look like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Stepping inside of Sanders' home surrounded by his things, you start to feel a special bond with him. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a side dish I've been tinkering with. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy, both perhaps. Maybe freaking fried chicken? I don't know. Shot in the dark game. Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you reveal your new creation to him or can No, I would reveal it. Wait, what if he's a bad guy and he's gonna steal everything from me in the end? And this isn't about love at all, it's about business. Then again, if you go through life hardening your heart and thinking the worst out of people, you're not gonna find love. That was a really quick turnaround for me emotionally. Let's reveal it. You decide that you're ready to, as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Keep it a secret. I can appreciate a good secret, of course. In fact, I've got many, nearly a dozen in my fried chicken recipe alone. But I would hope that you could learn to trust me with yours. I suppose you did share a secret ingredient with me yesterday, so it's only fair. I haven't been completely honest with you. The secret I told you, it was a fake. You see, we only had just met, and I had to make sure that you were trustworthy and capable of keeping my most important secret. To me, my recipes are priceless. I promise to be honest with you from here on out, I really do. I'm counting on you. Then in that case, I present to you my original coleslaw. Shredded cabbage dish glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Lux hideaway. Magnificent! Together you chow down on the creamy slaw until a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I like to have it around so that I can admire its taste later and think back on this moment. Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. Real talk, are we gonna woohoo with Colonel Sanders? You realize now that would be a perfect time to do some snooping. What the f- I just told him that he could trust me. A scented candle, you pick it up and try and identify the smell. It's gravy. No, it's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's, wow. Ew, he's a- horrifying baby. I hate it. Who frames a baby picture of themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of a company they founded. Am I right? What? I love this. Snaps to KFC for keeping it real. Uh-oh. This door is open. You open the door to see Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature white suits hanging in. You take one off the hanger and try it on. Oh my god. Bleah! He caught us wearing his clothes. That's weird. I hate this. Before you can look any further, you hear Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he asks you why you're wearing his jacket. I don't usually loan those out, but I must say it does look good on you. You decide that now is your moment to make a big move. You tell them you're cold. You fess up and tell the truth. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, 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 this isn't that kind of game. Not that we blame you for trying. Game over. I tried to make the move. You can't even smash the colonel. No, I'm gonna tell him I'm cold. I'm so sorry I didn't mean to intrude. I just got cold and thought it would be good. He smiles and scoots close to the fireplace. It's warm by the fire. Why don't you come a little closer? Saying things in that accent is not seductive at all. Suddenly everything feels like it's moving too fast. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. Thought of leaving Colonel in the midst of such an emotion breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself. Colonel? Hmm. I hated that noise that he just did. Yes, Kelsey? I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow, so you ain't trying to smash. Get out of here. You ain't my Colonel. You talk late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Wait, what? I thought I was going to go study. It's time to sleep. All right, well, it looks like I slept over at Colonel Sanders' place. Scandal. 
I learned a very important lesson this time is that I guess we, we're not gonna get the current. We're gonna date and take it slow. Try and see what's popping. You know, popping like popcorn chicken. I'm ready next time. I'm gonna marry Colonel Sanders. I'm gonna be his business partner. We're gonna be the best freaking chefs you've ever seen. Am I in love yet? I guess we'll find out in the next video when I finally figure out if we're gonna woohoo Colonel Sanders. My hope is it's a no.